G'day, this is Mick. Um, as of late, I've been getting a fair few amount of uh, questions about my brake and uh, suspension setup. Um, so this is just a, uh, a quick video on uh, how I actually did it and uh, how I'm running my setup. Um, basically, um, I'll go down to the brakes. Um, you're looking at a, um, a 350Z um, a non Brembo 05 uh, front rotor. Uh, with a Z32 TT uh, four spot caliper um, on the on the back, uh, how I actually got the uh, uh, I don't know if you can see that um, how I actually got the um, the brake caliper to uh, to mount. Um, I got an, an adapter off um, eBay, uh, US eBay, um, which was meant for the Sylvia uh, for this big brake upgrade. Um, seems to work well um, because uh, basically I'll spin it around again. If you look at the back there, um, I'm running a, uh, a Sylvia hub, um, which makes things easy. There's a lot of aftermarket parts um, once, I, once you go over to this setup. Um, basically, I'm running the standard um, Z um, um, control arm. That was uh, pretty easy. Uh, the only only drama that um, I'm, I'm having with this setup is uh, you'll have to uh, get a base height adjustable coilover because um, it's too it's way too low um, if you just get a standard coilover. Um, even the standard suspension, uh, it's exactly the same. Um, and you'll have to get a, uh, an adjustable hat as well. Um, the um, you get a, a massive amount of uh, positive camber. Just with running the standard Z um, control arm. Uh, later on, I'm um, I'm playing around with a Sylvia control arm, see if I can get that to fix uh, fit in. But um, well, you'll have to stay tuned. Um, I've just got the uh, the standard Sylvia um, rack end as well. Um, as you can see, it's uh, the rubber's pretty well destroyed on it. So I was going to go over to a uh, a rose joint, but um, basically. Um, with the rack end, what you'll have to do is you'll have to cut it slightly and then uh, re-tap it um, uh, just a little bit longer. Um, it was uh, it was way way too long, and it was um, putting the uh, the wheels toe in, so that's why you'll have to cut it. Um, it's a 15 minute job, and it's um, uh, it's really quite safe. As you can see, the um, I've got thread all the way through, so uh, it's not going to break. Um, as for the front. Uh, Uh, you're looking at there a, um, a Series 2 280 uh, brake uh, booster. Um, this is a Series 1, so uh, the Series 1 um, booster, uh, it's got a different bolt configuration, so you have to use the Series 2, but uh, the Series 2 uh, brake booster will fit straight in. Um, the uh, master cylinder there is a, um, it's a Z32 uh, master cylinder. Um, if any of you guys have had a look at my earlier uh, uh, video, you would have noted that um, I would have had a different master cylinder, but um, it wasn't uh, wasn't providing enough um, pressure uh, for my liking. So I went for the uh, the TT ABS master cylinder, uh, which gives me a lot lot more feel. Um, it uh, yeah it seems to be working quite well. Um, the only only drama, as you can see there, I I've had to um, do some custom uh, brake line work. <laughs> Looks like um, a bowl of spaghetti, but um, it works quite well. Um, overall, it was quite cheap to do, and I did it all at home. Um, but um, but other than that, um, it's a pretty easy conversion. Uh, the rear, um, I'm running coilovers as well. Um, the only modifications there you'll have to do is um, at the very top of the rears, um, you'll have to re-drill it to two stud um, because the top of the... Um, uh, the Sylvia coilover is running uh, two bolts rather than three with the Z, and um, I uh, I waited um, to get a, a rear strut brace and just used that as a template uh, to re-drill the tops and uh, down the bottom um, it fitted straight in. You've just got to uh, cut a slight, um, probably about two or three mil off the um, uh, off the bottom of the uh, the strut where it mounts in. Um, bit hard to get to so I'll have to show you guys later on 
But um, yeah, hopefully that answers a lot of questions. Um, okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.